Okay, uh, good morning all. Um, ben, welcome to Astro. Oh, my name's Ben. Welcome back to uh, an, just an Astrobiological Facebook group podcast. Uh, I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm actually outdoors, um, doing a whole portable mobile thing. And uh, I'm on holidays at the moment, so me and my wife have gone to country Victoria in the southeast corner of Australia. And we're staying on a farm that my uh, uncle and auntie own a dairy farm, so I thought sort I'd of, uh, wander around and talk about things to do with the group at the same time. So, um, yeah, I don't know how long this cast will be today, this uh, podcast will be today. Bit of wind. I apologise if, uh, if the sound quality is also not as good today. But, um, yeah. Thanks for listening. I'm surrounded by cows at the moment, or at least I'm surrounded by one cow. He's checking me out. G'day. <laughs> so I'm just wandering around checking this farm out. I've never been out here before, so yeah. So what's been going on with you guys? Um, the group's doing well. I think we're up to 174 members, 174 members as of now. So it's going pretty well. I couldn't tell you offhand right now how many members have gained. I could probably try, actually. I can do two things at once on this phone, it turns out. So, I'm shaking flies away. You may be able to hear the flies around my face. There's a clouds on. It's like morning and there are clouds of flies everywhere. But that's Australia. Okay, we, uh, we're the land of flies. So, yeah. It's, um, it's been a good week. It's been an interesting week. I've uh, been researching some new video topics. I've got two videos in the works at the moment. One about uh, a, a rare class of stars called wolf rayet stars, which I never even knew the existence of until a few days ago. But uh, they're kind of cool. Whoop, chicken just there. Get out of the way. Um, yeah, there. And, uh, I, I was inspired to do that video by a, a simulation that I saw on, on another, another, inter- another web page somewhere from the University of Chicago showing modelling how our solar system could have formed within a bubble created by the turbulence generated within a molecular cloud by a wolf rayet star. So that's incredible. So that was kind of cool to picture, so I thought I'd uh, do some work on that. So I'm putting together a little video at the moment to put on the group, and um, but I'm also working on a, uh, a longer YouTube video which will go into a little bit more detail, so that should be a bit of fun. So where were we? Right, we're on Facebook now. I'm going to go to the group, see where the group's at. Um, people are engaging. Uh, post away, guys, with this group. I, I love seeing posts from other people. Um, even just, um, it doesn't have to be full of links and pictures and videos, just comments and things. That's 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 fine. I love that. I'm sure other people do. Uh, we're all here to, you know, hang out and talk about stuff. Now, I understand uh, there are a few people, of quite a few people in the group who come from a uh, non-English speaking background, so I try to talk as slow as I can and as clearly, but I don't often succeed, so just bear with me. And um, some, some of the videos that I'm putting up on YouTube at the moment lack subtitles and they're having a bit of trouble. Uh, one person in particular is struggling with the uh, my accent <laughs> and yeah, generally my accent, he, he's having trouble with that, so I'll work on my diction, uh, which is, you know, my speech. I think it's getting a bit better over the last few weeks of doing this stuff. Uh, must be getting get it better because uh, when, I, when you put a video up on YouTube, um, it, there's a, it, it does come with a built-in auto, auto-captioning service. Uh, which at the beginning was pretty bad because it would just take a word you were saying and just mangle it, it would turn it into something else. But uh, I'm noticing whew, flies everywhere that it's getting better and better at understanding what I'm saying. So I'll turn it, that captioning service on for the, uh, the the non-English speakers so they can follow my videos a bit better. Uh, all my newer ones, since I remodeled the channel, uh, I think most of them, not all of them, sorry, most of them, I specifically created a set of subtitles for them. Uh, so there, they can be followed. But, 
Yeah, I'm working on uh, subtitles for the rest. I've got about 54 videos, so I won't put subtitles in all of them because many of the videos don't get watched. I'm currently in the process now of um, possibly taking or locking some of the videos up and but re and redoing them a bit. So and uh, re re uploading them with uh, different opening credits and stuff like that. So just to re remodel the channel a bit, remodel the whole look. I'm still trying to tie the, the Facebook group into the channel a bit more sort of link them up in a way because I'm getting more out of the Facebook group from a personal satisfaction point of view than a channel at the moment but I want the channel to work so I'm 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 working at it. So that's my that's my thing, that's what I want to do. But uh just bear with me guys. Right. Now insights for the group aren't coming up because like I said I'm out in the middle of nowhere so internet's not incredible. But uh, I'll get to it when I can. Theoretically, will come up. Maybe if I get a bit close to the house where we're staying, the internet might improve. Right, can you hear the clouds, the flies around me? Yeah, it's like poof, dozens on my face. <laughs> we just get used to it here. <laughs> Unless you swallow them. <laughs> that's, not, that's not so good. The closer you get to the house, the worse the flies get. Hello, my wife in her bedroom. <sighs> right, let's recede from the house. <sighs> right. Internet looks like it just improved. But anyway, so yeah, the group. Uh, it's growth, growth is pretty well, pretty good. Um, Seeing some interesting stuff out there this week in the world of astrobiology. That's what we're all about. Um, like I said, the wolf ray at stars grabbed my attention. I'm working on a, 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 a video about the galaxy at the moment as well, which is going well. It's being put together. And, uh, yeah, things are, things are great. Interesting. It's interesting stuff. A lot of stuff to learn. Um... If you guys do have any ideas for vid for episodes, um, feel free to put them up in this group anywhere you want. That is totally fine, or on on the channel, or if if you, any of you follow me on Twitter or, or other social media, uh, just yeah, put something up, put up a comment. I'll find it pretty pretty quickly. I'm usually pretty close to my phone, so bit of a social media junkie, I suppose. I'm not a social media guru, but I'm kind of glued to it. Bit of a problem sometimes. Yeah. So where am I at the moment? On this uh, walk through the countryside, heading up towards the front of the farm property now, and towards the road, the one and only road that goes past it, or nearby. There's a paddock at the front, full of populated with the groups of calves having their breakfast, munching away some hay. And uh, it's very nice out here. You can hear that wind. It's a beautiful morning. It's taken a lot of the, the, the edge of the Australian heat at the moment. It's just beautiful. Very peaceful out here. For those of you who don't uh, get out to the country, uh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. I could quite happily live out here. It's beautiful. It's just, yeah, it calms you down. You, you feel yourself slowing down when you come out here, but uh, yeah. And I guess oh, now we can get group insights. They've just come up. Whoop! The internet is working. Okay. In the last, but in the last week, we have 18 new members. There's a couple more than that because this is actually slightly more than a week. Kind of about uh, this is about 10 days past my last podcast. I actually do that sort of insights in the podcast weekly. I've done the first two weekly. This is going to be a little bit late, obviously, because of the whole holiday season. But uh, I'm sure you guys can understand that. And so videos are a little bit uh, late as well for the same reason. But, uh, yeah, they're coming. And uh, I think I'm starting to, starting to find my groove with all kinds of things. I'm researching podcasts and how they work. You don't need great equipment. 
But uh, there are other things you need. You need something to talk about for a start. And this uh, this podcast to which you are listening, whoever you are, the few of you who are, I understand that. I don't intend it to be a world-shattering thing. It's just me talking and sharing some thoughts. Um, yes, yeah, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I'll get to it. There those carbs again. Flies everywhere. Flies, man. You, any guys that haven't been to Australia like, and, and, and you encounter our flies, they'll drive you insane. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to like, just be driven nuts by flies. But uh, not so bad now. You just get used to it. You don't bother <laughs> after a while. Like, if you can see my face, it's pretty much coated in flies. That's what it feels like at least. Certain areas of the farm seem to be worse than others, so I'm going to try and retreat. Retreat! Retreat! Retreating now. I'm walking along the edge of the property. There's a little uh, irrigation ditch running along it. Take bringing water from the uh, the Murray River. Very windy now. I hope you can hear me still. Hear the sound through the trees. Whoop, little clouds of dust whirling up everywhere. Very dusty, dry part of the world, obviously. And there's a farm hand out the back, just uh, doing some work at the moment on a little quad bike type thing. I'll let her do that. So, yeah, a lot of uh, old machinery and stuff. I've grown weeds and things, it's farms are all like that. A bit rough and ready. So uh, yes, fly in my ear. That's the worst when they go down your ear. Woo! You forget crocodiles and snakes and stuff. Australia has flies. That's, a, that's our main. That's the main scourge that faces us all here. We've all got to deal with that. If you live in a nice cold country where there are no flies, I kind of, I kind of envy you some, sometimes. But it's not so bad. There could be worse things in the world. Where am I now? Uh, tucked away a little corner. Oh, there's that carpet saw before. I've walked in circles. I haven't spent too much time on farms. It's cool. I've always liked the countryside. And exploring and just hiking and walking and stuff. So I could spend a lot more time out here. We're only here for a couple of days. Which is unfortunate, but we're seeing more relatives in Melbourne which is a few hours drive away from here. That was nice. If you've been to Australia and been to Melbourne, you know what I mean. It's a great place. All right, just bear with me. So what else has the group been doing? Growth we've looked at. Uh, post comments and reactions, engagement is up. People are commenting and liking and taking part in things. Which, excuse me, I might beg your pardon. But uh, people are uh, engaging more. More top contributors. Let's see who they are. Top, top contributors in the last 28 days are uh, Anton Kronichny, uh, Belinda Ruffcorn, Lance Halister, Born Owl again, Rohan Patkiri, and Bruce Dormany. Uh, thank you very much for your contribution to the group. They all help at work, so a wide range of topics too. That's sort of loosely uh, astrobiology related or science related. Like I said, I'm not too fussy. As long as it's not completely off top topic, go right ahead. That's uh, the main point, the main standing point of order, I guess, for the group. I also keep uh, you know, politics and all that sort of stuff out of out of things. I just don't want to hear it. I get enough of it and every other single square inch of life these days, so no, just no. Any stuff that's um, too heavy into politics or the, you know, the, you know, the stuff, we all know what I'm talking about, that's going on these days, just, just take it somewhere else. This is a, a group with a central mission and that mission is to talk about a particular topic or set of topics and politics and all the other rubbish that goes with these days does not constitute a worthwhile topic of conversation a lot of the time. So thank you. So yes, great engagement and growth from the group. And thank you to all. Um, please uh, 
get friends involved, share this group, um, watch my videos. I'll put some uh, more videos up from the from the channel uh, as we go in the next few days. You guys can take a look if you want. Make suggestions, give feedback. Um, it can be negative as long as it's constructive negative feedback. I don't mind. I'm quite happy to actually hear negative constructive feedback because it all helps me improve things. I don't want to hear, oh, that's great. If it is there, yeah, that's okay. But if you also want to say, uh, this particular aspect of a video stinks and this is why, I'm also very happy to hear stuff like that. So, yep. Flies, they won't go away. Right. How long is this going for so far? Oh, it's 15 minutes so far, a little short one. It's, it's quarter to nine in the morning. And again, I'm in a small farm property uh, near Wai Ai, near the northern border of Victoria, which also sits near the southern border of New South Wales in Australia, if you know where that is. Australians would know where I am. Non-Australians wouldn't. Just look on a map. Okay, look for the state of Victoria. And we're somewhere near the top, in the middle somewhere. Oh my god, this flight is out of control. I think I need to move. <laughs> you can probably hear the flies more than you can hear me. But that's okay, like I say, that's Australia. And I drive me uh, batshit insane, as I used to. I guess the older you get, uh, the more able you are to handle things. I'm finding that. It's been a, uh, an interesting visit here. Seeing my auntie, the uncle's away on a family uh, a family errand. But uh, yeah, it's one of those visits where you know, all kinds of revelations about family history stuff come up. I won't go into it, of course, but uh, yeah, you already get to, you, you to see various aspects of your life, aspects of your life in a different perspective and so it's been a bit of a, a learning experience this trip but uh, it's all part of growing older I guess. I'm not sure how big this property is but it goes off for quite a bit. I haven't seen any kangaroos, apparently there's a pet kangaroo here, I haven't seen it yet, her name's Sheila. She comes and goes as she plays, they even put a, a little bed out for her on the front porch of the house. She just kind of made, has made this place her home. She's adopted it a bit. But uh, I've actually lost Sheila, and my auntie is concerned that uh, a neighbour has possibly shot her or she's run over by, another, by a neighbouring farmer or whatever. Not on purpose, of course, but the uh, local kangaroos do get, uh, do get uh, shot or run over sometimes uh, when they're being pests with, the, sh with the, uh, the sheep and the cattle around here. The cattle, sorry. So she's worried that uh, that may have been Sheila's fate, Sheila the kangaroo. So hopefully not, because I've been itching to meet this this kangaroo. My uh, auntie takes in native animals that are not doing so well sometimes. There aren't any here at the moment, unfortunately. I would have loved to see them. So that's okay. Next time. But, uh, I'll. Uh, Probably leave this podcast at that for now. Um, let's see how it sounds. Let's see how it turns out. It's just a little one, very short one. Um, so just to recap, uh, the points of order, which I brought up last instead of first usually, um, keep posting on topic. So far, so good. Um, again, thank you to those who are contributing. That's thank you so much. Um, I just don't want to feel like I'm talking to myself. Uh, I hope I'm not. Um, somebody on another group uh, greatly enjoyed a blog post of mine, which I've shared on their group, uh, Science and Futurism with Isaac Arthur, his, his Facebook group. I uh, put up a post about the uh, galactic anatomy, and she uh, she liked it a lot. So uh, thank you very much. I've got, I, don't know, I don't know her name offhand, but uh, I really appreciated that. And it, it, it's those sort of things that uh, make my day, you know? Like... Uh, I know I'm not, uh, you know, 
Carl Sagan or Neil deGrasse Tyson or any great science communicator or anything or any kind of media entity, but I like to think I'm doing my bit for someone. And if that's, and if I am doing my, you know, if I am having a positive effect on someone's life like that, then that's that's awesome, you know. That's that's really good. So keep that sort of uh, those sort of compliments coming. If you do feel the need to express yourself, go right ahead. I love it. It makes my day. It, it, uh, it's the reason I do this because I, uh, you know, I went to the university, did science, um, but uh, life got in the way, as it uh, tends to do, and then it really got in the way, and then it just got, you know, then it kind of exploded in my face, and chasing that dream just kind of had to take a back seat for several years, and then the dust only just eventually settled, but it was just the horse, the horse, the ship had sailed. So I think it's fair to say that I probably won't ever be a scientist working in a lab. I don't really mind that, but I'd like to be talking about it and, you know, talking with other people and sort of helping it along in that way, you know. They call it SCICOM or Source of Science Communication. I like to think I'm doing my little, my little bit for that um, because the world's gone through a bit of a bit of a phase at the moment and where all kinds of well stupid ideas uh, you know inching towards the front pages you know what I mean like the flat earth and the, the moon landing hoaxes and oh, just complete out of silliness okay um, and behind that is this kind of I don't know I don't know why this just kind of shift back towards anti-reason and, and anti-thought, you know, and that's dangerous, you know, like, just picture this, we live in a world where this is the most dangerous time in the history of the human race, or the history of the world possibly, because we have the capacity to annihilate not just ourselves, but just everything else, and that kind of power needs to be, needs to be handled responsibly by people who can think straight and people in charge, the people in positions of power are becoming less able to think straight and, and populist leaders, and now this is about as political as I'll get, but I'm working towards the point here, the populist leaders are riding on the backs of populations who aren't thinking clearly and, and social media hasn't helped but it's only spent things long. It didn't create. It didn't create it. But just this anti-reason and, and anti-thinking and just this push towards this these this nonsense is is going to set back science and and rational thought by hundreds of years. And it's like handing the the dangerous toys from the responsible grown-ups to the children who think they're in charge but have no idea what they're doing would you do that if you were driving in a car with your children and suddenly for whatever reason they were driving the car and they were like you know typical hyperactive bouncy little kids playing up what do you think would happen you'd crash into a tree sooner or later and that'd be the end of you that's what's happening to the world now there's just responsibility is being removed from those who know what they're doing and have known what they're doing for a long time and has been given to those who don't care that they know what they're doing or not. They just think they can do it. Like stubborn little kids and it's just... I don't think it's going to end well. So I need to do my bit and that's my the point I was working towards. And those of you who hear this message, we need to do our bit to keep this tiny little spark of reason alive because it's getting... It's getting snuffed out. I don't know why, but it's just... I don't know why. We've done so well, but now we're just inexorably just pulling back into just some previous period of history. But we've, we're heading back into that, into that kind of thinking with all these dangerous toys that we suddenly now have. We're, we're more powerful now than we, we've ever been, that, than anything has ever been. But we don't have the... The, the mental capacity to to really be that responsible with it. We were just scraping through for a while, but I don't know. It's not 
it's starting to slip from my grasp. So we need to keep thinking, keep thinking critically and keep thinking objectively. You know, don't just blindly believe everything you read or hear or see. But uh, it's a minefield, I know that. Because the flat earthers, for instance, use that very argument, oh, well, we should think for ourselves, you know, we should not just blindly believe what we read, but like, that's, I don't know, they're using our reasoning against us, you know, we need to just keep a cool head and keep a rational head and think, and if something sounds ridiculous, it probably is, so just keep that in mind, just remember Occam's razor, uh, which watered down or paraphrased basically runs their stuff. Um, all things considered, the, the, the simplest the simplest solution is is the best one. is usually is usually the the right one. Okay. If it sounds if it sounds stupid, it, it probably is. That's what that that's just that's another way of looking at it. Okay. So I don't know if I've rambled on enough for you guys. I tend to do that sometimes, but this I feel I feel strongly about this sort of stuff, and I want to do my bit to I don't know help help reasons help reasons survive. The world the world's heading for a bit of a crisis, and we need to just um, yeah I don't know I don't know what what's happening, but it's happening. And with that, I'll leave you guys to your day. You don't want to hear this depressing stuff on your on your post Christmas. I guess post Christmas for most of you now, and uh, or all of you, I guess. And yeah, enjoy your holidays. Hope you uh, have an astrobiological time. And this is Ben from Astrobiological, bringing you the universe plain human. I'll I'll talk to you guys later. So have a fantastic time and. Keep uh, checking in, saying hello on the group and whatever, and have a good one.